Hi guys, so Fighting Games Month on Vita is concluding and to end the month I thought I would do a top 10 of my favourite fighting games on the Vita. Now I've tried to limit this to games that are actually available on PSN or that are available uh, physically on the Vita. So something like Tekken Dark Resurrection, even though I love that game, it's not actually available on the Vita anymore because it's not on PSN, so I haven't included that. So um, really, this is just focusing on my top 10 games that are actually available on Vita for fighting games. So let's get to the list. Number 10 is Tekken 6 on the PSP. Now, Tekken 6 on the PSP just runs really well. It's a great game. It, it is a Tekken game on a handheld. Uh, I loved it when it came out uh, originally, and it still holds up in terms of the gameplay. The graphics, a little bit, uh, don't look great on the Vita screen, but gameplay-wise, it's a great game and still holds up well. Number nine, I didn't cover this in a video this month, but I already did a video on this previously, the Capcom Classics Collection Reloaded. Now, Capcom have two Classics Collection on the, on the PSP, uh, and the Reloaded Collection has Street Fighter 2, Street Fighter 2 Champion Edition, and Street Fighter 2 Hyper Fighting. Street Fighter 2 still is a great game to me. Uh, it still holds up as one of the best fighters ever. Uh, and it's still fun just to turn on Street Fighter 2 and still play it. And so this collection is great, having like three different versions of Street Fighter 2 available. So uh, I really, really enjoy this collection. And it's got a load of other classic Capcom games as well. So it's actually a great collection to own. Number eight, Ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom 3. So I did talk about this in a video, but I absolutely love the gameplay, the graphics, the, uh, the sound. Everything is great with this game. Just the final fight with Galactus, I was never, never a big fan of because he was so cheap and so overpowered. Other than that, it's a brilliant game and I love the roster of characters as well. Number seven, King of Fighters 97. So I did do a video covering this one. I really enjoyed this King of Fighter game. Uh, I'm not as uh, familiar with the series as Street Fighter 2, but I still really enjoyed it. Still really enjoyed the cast of characters as well. And the pixel graphics for this and the other SNK games is just great on the Vita. Number six, Undernight Inbirth EXE Latest. The name is ridiculous, but the gameplay is great. This is a really fun fighting game as well. Amazing graphics, love the graphics for this game. The story is a bit too convoluted, but other than that, it's a really good game. Number five, Street Fighter X Tekken. As a Street Fighter fan, you can't really go wrong with this game. It really feels like a Street Fighter game, even though it's got Tekken in the name. And even in terms of a Tekken fan, it's still got that really good roster of characters, the ones you know and love from the Tekken games. Uh, it doesn't quite play the same, obviously, if you're a Tekken fan, but it still is a good fun game, really enjoyable. Number four, Blaz Blue Chrono Phantasma Extend. So I just did a video on this one, uh, and where I talked about my thoughts in a lot more detail. But again, you know, brilliant gameplay, really fun. Uh, great animation and graphics for the characters. The story was a little bit overlong, but I love the content of this game. There's so much to do outside of just arcade mode. Uh, and, you know, if you are a fan of the story and visual novels, then you've got a massive kind of visual novel story uh, available to, to check out as well. Number three, Garou Mark of the Wolves. So kind of similar to what I said about King of Fighters 97, the pixel graphics for this is awesome. And the gameplay, I do prefer the gameplay to King of Fighters 97, but they're very similar, both games. King of Fighters 97 lets you pick three characters instead of one, but I just really enjoyed Garou Mark of the Wolves. I just like the speed of the gameplay uh, and just how fun the characters are to control. Number two, Street Fighter Alpha 3. Absolutely love this game. I've loved it for like 20 years now. Uh, it still holds up as an awesome game. The gameplay of the characters is great. There's an amazingly large roster of characters to choose from. Uh, you know, Bison is very tough. He's kind of another one of these cheap Capcom bosses. But actually, he's one of these ones where I kind of feel like I want to try and do better and actually beat rather than someone like Galactus where he just got fed up of not being able to. Um, love this game so much. There's so much to do. So many different modes and options too. Can't recommend it enough. Number one on my list, and I actually didn't do a video on it this month because I reviewed it so recently, is Dead or Alive 5 Plus on the Vita. This game, I, I was so, so impressed with it. I hadn't played a Dead or Alive game before this one, uh, and so I wasn't really expecting much, but it is just like Tekken, uh, or at least this one is. I can't talk to, to the rest of the series. But um, I, you know, I'm a fan of Tekken games, and this was just awesome. It's such a, such a great game. It's so much fun to play. It looks amazing as well. The character models, the 3D movement is nice and smooth. It really feels like a console quality game on the go. 
Uh, and this is just one of those great examples of the Vita being that kind of console, uh, co being able to handle console games on the go. Um, the story is a little bit silly, but other than that, from a gameplay perspective, graphics, sound, it's all awesome. And there's lots of modes there to play as well. It's just a great game. Um, so I know I didn't do a video on it this month, but you can check my review. I'll put a put a link above to so you guys can uh, can click that. But um, brilliant game, can't recommend it enough. So guys, that is PS Vita Fighting Games Month on my channel. Uh, I put a vote on uh, on my channel on the community page asking for you guys to give me your views in terms of what genre should be next. It looks like uh, action RPGs is winning right now. You know, I'll let the vote run for a bit longer, but December I'm going to do the next kind of monthly month of genre uh, for the Vita. I hope you enjoyed this series of videos looking at one particular genre of Vita games. Uh, please come back in December for the next genre and let me know in the comments what is your favorite fighting game on the Vita. Thanks for watching.